How do I begin this tale? This is an actual epic tale. This story is about a guy who had never hunted in his life and shot a world record turkey. Not just a world record turkey, a world record albino Osceola. This is the story of the Tom Brady of turkey hunting. And what makes it so unique is that we auctioned off this trip to raise money for the Light Foundation. And it went from a charity event to a hunt to a guy who is now featured on the cover of Florida Game and Fish magazine. And we're gonna tell this in all of its glory and all of its splendor. We've captured so much of it, and I can't wait for you to see how the Tom Brady of turkey hunting came to be. Well, it was a beautiful day in a really nice place. Beautiful place. 27,000 acre resort. We talked about the this white ghost of Gilchrist, and I guess is legendary, that this incredible Tom Turkey was uh, somewhere in the woods. Jamie's not an outdoorsman. He's not a hunter. I really expected that he was going to be a real outdoorsman to be on this trip, and I was a little surprised at how unprepared he was. When I met him, I looked down at his shoes, and I says, hey, you didn't wear snake boots? Believe it or not, this guy had clogs on with no backs on them. Clogs! I mean, this is like going to a construction site with sandals on. Obviously, to me, he was not an experienced hunter and had not seen this kind of activity before, and so he was blown away. I think for most outdoorsmen, you can't wait to have your own kids in the outdoors or introduce it to friends and family. And I think that's probably the biggest reward that I have through the outdoors. I, I love being out. I, I love being the person that's the shooter, but it's so much better when you have a young person who may have never been in the outdoors or had never been on a hunt and they go out there and they have success. And success isn't necessarily the taking of a turkey or shooting your first deer. Success is just learning what it's like to be in the great outdoors. Man, I've had the opportunity to take a ton of people for the very first turkey hunt. And there's nothing more I enjoy than doing just that. Whether it be an adult or a kid, seeing their faces light up when they hear that very first gobble, working a bird in and encouraging them, hey, be still, and, and seeing them trying to squirm and figure out how to get in position, and hearing that spitting and drumming, seeing the intensity on their face, and then for it to all come together and bag that bird helps me relive why I got into turkey hunting in the first place, and it's such a special thing. You know, anytime someone gets their first turkey, it's an unbelievable experience. I know I was super excited when I got my first bird. I've been able to be with people who got their first bird, and there's just nothing like it. It's really anything in hunting. Uh, the first time you get something, man, the joy, uh, the excitement that you have, is just indescribable. I think taking people out for their first time turkey hunting is one of the coolest and most unbelievable aspects. You live vicariously through them. I try to take somebody each and every spring to kill their first turkey, whether it be a youngster out there experiencing the world for the first time, or whether it be an adult that just hasn't turkey hunted yet. There's nothing like it, and if you haven't done it, give it a try. Hey, let me tell you something right now. The first time you experience in the woods wild turkey gobble, you're never going to forget it. That's what hooked me. The first time I heard one like 50 years ago, one gobbled up in the woods, and that hooked me for life, and I'm still at it. Believe me, it's a very rewarding experience. Taking beginning turkey hunters, those who are going for the first time, is exciting. You get to see the thrill on their face and watch them shake as that bird's coming in in the anticipation of the shot. Nothing like it. What an honor and a privilege it must be to have the opportunity to get to hunt the legendary ghost of Gilchrist. Kind of jealous. I get asked, you know, how many turkeys do we have in, in the eastern part of the United States? And we have absolutely no idea. I think as turkey hunters, we, we become beyond passionate about it. It borderlines on fanatical. This is Mike. I'm a good friend of Bob Edwards. I was hoping to touch base with you today. Thought I might uh, be able to get some questions in with you. I'm uh, trying to write a piece for the spring edition of the Florida Game and Fish magazine. And can you can you walk me through the hunt a little bit? Just kind of set sure, it up. Sure, and... sure. Bob Edwards said, "Hey, we spotted a, an albino turkey, and um, would you like to go and hunt it?" And I said, "It'd be great." So he told me. He said, "You know, when you see that, when I do that, and his neck goes up." 
And we're close enough, I want you to shoot him. Head back on the gun. Right at his neck. Wait, wait. Let him stick his head up. Let him stick his head up. Oh! Shoot him. Shoot him again. Hurry up. And Jamie says, yeah, I, I, but I, it took me two shots, but I got it. So it was, uh, it was very interesting because, as, as I mentioned earlier, we had taken shots, and as soon as you take a shot at a wild turkey, they're gone. Shoot him. Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Look at you! That's such good as that. Boom! There it goes. And Jamie was like, gave a great, great shout. I got him! I got him! He was ecstatic. He couldn't believe he was the one that was fortunate enough to, to have this happen. The manager of the Gilchrist Club came out and said, my God, you, you, you got the great white ghost of the Gilchrist Club. We've been after this bird for years. How in the hell did you miss him the first shot? I don't know. I don't know. You was nervous as a cat shitting a peach yeah. seed. Well, he looked like a big chicken. I'm like, why is this thing all white? <laughs> he looked like a, I'm sitting there going, he looks like a big chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I am truly so sorry, because just like you, Jamie Marshall thought this was real as well. And it's not a real bird. It's, it's a broad-breasted white turkey that I picked up at a farm. I couldn't resist. Listen, the more you get to know Jamie Marshall, you'll understand that there couldn't have been a better person to pull this prank on. Like it was for the kids. We, we did to raise money, so you can't hold it against me. Don't feel sorry for him, all right? All ends well with, with good friends having a lot of fun with each other. So you know what? Here's the real story. I bought the bird. I put it in the great outdoors. And that's some. Um... Jamie Marshall made an amazing stalk on this bird. He did exactly what I told him. He squatted down like a sumo wrestler, walked right at it. The thing never moved. All right, now most people know that like when you're in the woods and you're trying to get a wild animal, uh, you have to be still, you have to be quiet. That's why it's called hunting. My man Jamie, he looks like he's lumbering around at the grocery store trying to trying to figure out what he can pick out and put in his shopping cart. Uh, so I don't know where that got miscommunicated on, hey, you've got to be real stealthy to get close to a turkey. Now are you a, Jamie, are you a hunter? No, it's like my first real hunt where I was hunting a, a turkey. He loves to be in the know, involved, and be an expert at everything. He was just so excited. He, he was so anxious. And then he shot a world record albino osso. But that's not the best part. He missed once. 25 yards on a tee. And what do you do? Whiff. And then the bird doesn't run? And you still think he's a real turkey? Wild one? Come on, Jamie. He had it mounted. He told the entire world what he had done because he's clearly on the cover of Florida Game and Fish and actually signed copies for people at the event where we unveiled the truth a year later. <laughs> this hunt cracks me up because if it wasn't enough that you were out there stalking this bird like a gazelle in Africa, you see this thing, it's huge. It's, it's the size of a small pig and it's bleach white and missing all its kind of feathers and you think you're hunting a wild turkey. I mean, what kind of idiot thinks that this is legit? A 30 some pound white Osceola turkey, world record, all this other stuff. Come on, man, you gotta be kidding me. You see the size of that bird? Good gosh, 46 pounds? And he's gobbling right there in your face? and he doesn't have a beard, no spurs, feathers look kind of ragged, and you think that's a real wild turkey? When we were on stage revealing this in front of 500 people, I didn't know if I was gonna get punched in the face 
or we were going to laugh hysterically. Check it out. You are looking at the state record holder for the largest wild turkey, 46 pounds, and it's on the cover of those magazines. This knucklehead had to have been the luckiest person in the world. We shot video this time. I want you guys to check this video out. I'm the Tom Brady of turkey hunting. Definitely the Tom Brady of turkey hunting. I couldn't agree more. I'm not sure who says that on a stage in front of all these people. I mean, maybe you do if you think you just shot a world record bird, but Jamie Marshall is definitely the Tom Brady of turkey hunting. Love you. I had to first locate a, a, a broad-breasted white turkey, as luck well would have it. The farm that Get the fuck out of here! 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 Look at you! Look at you! Look at me! Look at me! Look at you! At one point he goes, it's a documentary. You guys made a documentary. <laughs> yeah, we did. You really did? You're a fucking asshole. That's what the Are we the only ones that think it's funny? No. <laughs> My stuff is killing me. <laughs> And it's I feel like the jerk. No! It's one of Matt Lee's jokes. He totally got what you said. You're an asshole. That he's raised in the backyard. Man, it's a good slum, isn't it? Tell him it fed a family. Like it. it fed a family, though. It fed a family. <laughs> it did feed a family. So, good work, Jamie. Uh, you just got the biggest turkey of all time. Uh, very hard. So, uh, big congrats to you. What's this guy's name? Jamie? Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Good work, buddy. World record, pal. All right, that's it. The Tom Brady of turkey hunting. The story is out. Jamie Marshall, you are a saint. You're also a board member for the Life Foundation. So I'm eternally grateful for all that our board members do, especially Jamie for putting up with me in this ridiculous prank. And if you thought that that was maybe a little bit cruel, please know this. I wouldn't prank you if I didn't love you. And to all the legends who helped us put this together, that provided their insight on what it's like to take people in the outdoors, that's as real as it gets. Why do people take anyone out for the first time? Why, why do they give up their time? It's because they want to see people succeed. And at the Light Foundation, that's at the heart of everything we do. Spend time with young people, watch them have success. See that real interaction and those moments where the light bulb goes off. And you know what? We need mentors today, maybe more than ever. Let's make an impact, not just through the outdoors and the work we do through the Life Foundation, but let's have some fun doing it with a sweepstake. And we're launching one right now. So the ask, you suck with me through all this, go to mattlight72.com, get an opportunity to win a trip, all expense paid, to go down to Florida at the famed Gilchrist Club and be there to hunt a real wild turkey. Maybe it'll be a world record, I don't know. I can't promise you anything, and I know you're not gonna trust me very much, but we're gonna have fun either way. All the money raised will go to the Life Foundation. We do great with these sweepstakes because people push it, so share this with as many people as you can, and we'll have a lot of fun raising money for the work we do and the, and the programs that we serve through the youth across the country. Thank you very much.